Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at 2015 Surf Expo Slingshot Booth with Sam Light, Triple S winner, How's it rider going? extraordinaire. How are you doing, sir? I'm really good, thanks. Good to be here. It's my first time out here. Pretty excited about it. Awesome. Now, you've got a great looking board that yep. happens to be your pro model. Yep. Talk about it. Well, I'm very excited to tell you all about it, actually. So, first we'll start off with the graphic. Um, couldn't be happy with it, really. Basically, me and Alex spent a couple of evenings, a few cases of beer, just going through some of our old photos and stuff and just sort of mashing it up onto the boards and just seeing what we came up with. And it was really cool seeing how it evolved and how Alex goes about making the graphics. And it's, it's really talented. So that was really nice to have so much input into the graphic. So really pleased with how it looks. Um, and then moving on to the size, lots of people have asked me about the size because it's a bit bigger than other kite boards. It's 143. Um, the reason why I went for a bigger size is I started using bigger boards, kiting and wakeboarding, just testing them, and I just found more advantages and disadvantages. In fact, I didn't find any disadvantages. Every time I used a bigger board, it had a bigger surface area, it's a more stable platform, helps you go at wind, softer landings, it just better in chop, it just had more advantages, and I didn't see any reason why kiteboarders were so stuck in around this 140 size, so I wanted to make something a bit bigger. Um, I, I weigh about 75 kilos, I'm about 175 centimeters tall, just for some yeah. comparison to anyone watching. And I think um, like Laura Mayer, who's another slingshot team rider who's way smaller and lighter than me, she started using this size and loves it as well. So um, Next thing is the uh, outline. Kind of wanted to go fairly square and aggressive, um, so for edging and stuff getting like maximum pop during tricks and also it translates through to doing big air kite loops and stuff holding that edge in the water having a slightly square outline makes it a bit more of an aggressive feel um, and then going into the bottom firstly the bottom shape um, is a little bit different with the inverted Nakatek channels um, most channels on boards actually protrude like below the board which can create a weak point when you're hitting sliders or sliding down the beach or something if it if it's sticking out if you imagine if anything if you hit anything it can kind of catch onto it and um, for me when i'm traveling everywhere you know i i wanted a board that could sort of stand up to everything i wanted to throw at it and this works really well because it never catches on rails and also creates really soft landings and enough grip to use finless so i wanted enough channels to do that while not having too much on the bottom so it works really well um, and then it also creates a nice little flat, flat section here which feels nice when you're pushing against the board. And then the actual base, it's got a slightly thicker grind base than the other boards. Not too thick because I didn't want it to be too heavy, um, but slightly thicker so it's more durable which is nice for again sliding down the beach or anything which is perfect for that hitting slides and stuff It holds up to everything which is cool. And then I basically wanted something that I could use for all the different disciplines that I do from, you know, wake style, freestyle, to riding the king of the air, doing big jumps, to even, you know, teaching my dad on something. I wanted, and also going to the cable park. Because whenever I travel, I travel with like three different boards. So I wanted something that had the least amount of compromise that could do everything I wanted to do. And so I couldn't be happy. Three in one, all in one. That was the plan, yeah, yeah. So I'm really pleased. Now, where can they find more technical info the sizing, all the other stuff that you haven't covered today. Yeah, it's all on the Slingshot website. I'm actually just about to drop a new video. Um, another really? Can you can you give us? Yeah, yeah. Well, can you tell us a little bit of a preview? Well, I've been doing started doing these course preview videos, like with the GoPro, just giving people perspective into you know what's going through my mind during competitions, and it kind of since doing them has given me other ideas into what other videos I can do, and then I started to think about it with my board. Since coming out, people have asked me lots of questions, such as the size. Some people are concerned that it's too big. So I thought, what better way to answer all these questions than to make a video about it? So I've actually finished it. I'm just work, like, just finalizing it. I want to actually drop it with my website and a board competition next week is the plan. So look out for that next week. So where can they find more information on the boards and where can they find information on your videos? So just the Slingshot website, slingshotsports.com and of course my Facebook has loads of information and if you watch out next week I'll have a new website and a new video dropping and you can enter to win one of these. So. Really? Yeah. What are they going to have to enter to win? What are they going to have to do? We haven't figured that bit out yet. Oh. It's going to be, yeah, like an Instagram or Facebook competition so we just need to figure that bit out but it's pretty much done. We just well, Awesome. Uh, yeah. Great info on your board. You heard it here first. You can win this board from him. Are you going to sign the board? Indeed, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>